husband, I had to explain a lot to my husband. Like, culturally, when you get in a mixed race relationship, there's a lot of explanation that has to happen. You have to explain history to people so that they understand things. Like, I had to explain to my husband that I'm third generation. And what that means is I grew up speaking English. In my household, they only spoke English because at that point, my parents had already assimilated. They were fine. They were, they were in it to win it. And he didn't understand that. I said, when my parents were younger, they couldn't speak Spanish outside the house because of something called the gag law. Now, you may not know what that is, but I'll tell you. I'll be your Google. The gag law prevented Puerto Ricans from singing any patriotic songs or displaying any flags. So when you see us displaying our flag, it's a moment of pride for us because there was a time when that was literally illegal. Yeah. So when I came around, by the time I came around, like my parents couldn't speak Spanish outside the house. By the time I came around, we didn't even speak it inside the house. Everybody was speaking English, so I had to learn my Spanish from people that I worked with and various jobs. And all of those people were Mexican. <laughs> so my Spanish is very confusing. Because I'm a Puerto Rican who speaks Spanish with a Mexican accent but still uses Puerto Rican and Mexican terminology. My Spanish sounds like what a ransom note looks like. <laughs> People hear me speak Spanish and they're like, where are you from? I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm trying to figure that out myself. And here's the thing, like we, so I have a son. I had a, a little boy during the pandemic. I had a baby during the pandemic, which was wild. And like, there's, there's so many things we're doing differently now in terms of parenting, which I'm actually cool with. I'm cool with the changes because I think they're healthier for the kids. It'll breed more healthy adults. And I think it's really good, but it is, it adds more to it. Because they're talking about stuff that we never talked about growing up. Like people from my generation already know this. Toxic parenting, what? <laughs> like I said, I'm Puerto Rican. Let me guarantee you, nobody's cornered the market <laughs> on toxic parenting like Latino parents, <laughs> right? We put the tra in trauma, that was us. <laughs> it was just armor, we spiced it up for y'all. <laughs> and trying to explain things to, I know to specifically to Latino parents, man, trying to explain therapy. <sighs> I was like, I cannot sana sana away depression. Like that's not how that works. <laughs> If you don't know what sana sana is, please allow me to explain. <laughs> Latinos have this thing that we say when a little kid gets hurt. It goes, sana sana, colita de rana, si no sanas hoy, sanarás mañana. You're all healed. Um, <laughs> sounds beautiful, it's adorable in Spanish. One day my husband was like, can you translate that? You ever have that moment where you realize how something's about to sound? I was so mad because it loses all its poetry when you translate it. It literally, in English, it's save, save, butt of a frog. <laughs> if you don't heal today, you'll heal tomorrow. <laughs> it's just passive aggressive witchcraft. That's all it is, is save, save, butt of a frog. <laughs> you have to say it in Spanish or your children will have nightmares. You cannot say this in English, and I'll leave you guys with this. My husband was like so on it, like when we had, when we decided we were gonna, you know, change the way we were parenting, you know, that came with a lot of things, you know what I mean? Because as a child of a, you know, as a mother of a mixed child, I had to think about a lot of things, like the fact that I have to explain my half of his makeup and the history of those people, that comes with a lot. And I know he's gonna have questions, and I don't know if you've heard the level of questions children are asking, but these are Jeopardy level questions. <laughs> So I'm just waiting for the day where he's like, what happened to the indigenous people of the Caribbean, mommy? <laughs> and then I just look at his dad. <laughs> it's your time to shine, sir. <laughs> My poor son is walking around like, I come from the oppressor and the oppressed. <laughs> I'm the problem and the solution. <laughs> 